The Phoenix Has Landed, May 27, 2008. This is Rita Carl, Director of Educational Programs from Challenger Center for Space Science Education. NASA's Phoenix Mars Lander completed its first full day of activities in the Martian northern polar region, with most of its science instruments appearing to be in good working order. Since landing on Mars on Sunday, May 26th, Phoenix has thrilled NASA scientists and the general public with our first direct images of the planet's previously unexplored northern polar regions. The landscape where Phoenix set down is comparatively flat, with polygon-shaped patterns in the ground that are most likely caused by the expansion and contraction of underground ice from repeated freezing and thawing. The one problem so far on the lander occurred when the protective cover around the robotic arm that digs into the surface of the planet did not unwrap completely. It should not affect the ability to unstow the arm, said Barry Goldstein, project manager at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The earliest engineers would move Phoenix's eight-foot-long arm will be Tuesday, but it'll be another week before the lander takes the first scoop of soil. Phoenix is on a three-month mission to excavate the Martian soil using the eight-foot-long robotic arm to reach ice believed to be buried inches to a foot deep. After the initial testing, Phoenix will spend the rest of the mission clawing through layers of soil to reach ice that is believed to be buried. Does the Martian soil contain traces of organic compounds, one of the building blocks of life? That is one of the most important questions the mission hopes to answer. During its mission, Phoenix will study whether the ice melted in the past at the landing site and probe the soil for evidence of organic compounds. It cannot directly detect fossils or living organisms. On Monday, NASA released a black and white image captured during Phoenix's descent by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which had a bird's eye view of the lander coming down on its parachute. It's the very first time a spacecraft has taken an image of another spacecraft during the landing phase. Alfred McEwen of the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory said, It's the first time any camera has imaged an actual descent through the atmosphere of another planet. A color image from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter showed the Phoenix lander with its solar panels deployed on the Martian surface. Phoenix plans to take more views of its surroundings to help scientists zero in on a digging site and also take images of its onboard instruments, including its trench digging robot arm. Scientists were especially interested in how the polygon patterns in the ground formed at Phoenix's landing site. The fractures look similar to those found on Earth's polar regions. Phoenix appeared within reach of a shallow trough that could be a potential place to dig. Launched last summer, Phoenix sailed through 422 million miles of space over a period of about 10 months. The riskiest part of the journey came seven minutes before landing when Phoenix, operating on autopilot, had to use the atmosphere's friction, deploy its parachute, and fire a dozen thrusters to slow to a five-mile-an-hour thump. The lander executed the maneuver almost flawlessly. The only snag came when it released the parachute seven seconds later than expected. The late timing caused the spacecraft to land slightly downrange from its intended landing spot. Two hours after touchdown, Phoenix beamed back images revealing the first ever look of the polar horizon on Mars. It also sent back images of its unfolded heat shield and another of its foot planted in the soil next to some pebble-sized rocks. Phoenix joins rover's spirit and opportunity on the Martian surface. The $420 million mission is led by the University of Arizona and managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Unlike the twin rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, which have been operating near the Martian equator since 2004, Phoenix has limited lifetime. Winter will set in later this year at the landing site and will likely cover the lander with frost. For more information about Challenger Center, visit www.challenger.org and see some of our other vodcasts and listen to our podcasts and download some lessons for your classroom and learn how you can participate in our educational programs. For more information about the Mars Phoenix mission, visit phoenix.lpl.org.
www.arizona.edu. This is Rita Carl, Director of Educational Programs, signing off.